Tumor-associated human papillomavirus produces oncogenic proteins which degrade tumor suppressor protein P53. Now that might sound like there is no association with cardiology, but it turns out that inactivation of P53 is associated with accelerated atherosclerosis. This association was studied in a report in Jack, which examined human papillomavirus and cardiovascular disease among U.S. women. Data came from 2,500 women in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 2003 to 2006. In this group of relatively young women, 60 had cardiovascular disease, which in this study was defined as self-reported MI or stroke. Of these 60 women, 39 were human papillomavirus DNA positive and 21 were negative. Thus, the odds ratio of cardiovascular disease comparing women with positive versus negative cancer-associated human papilloma virus types was 2.86. The authors conclude that human papilloma virus infection, especially cancer-associated oncogenic types, is associated with cardiovascular disease among women. There are, however, important limitations to the study. First, the numbers are small. Second, the ages of some of the women were such that one might expect cardiovascular disease regardless of human papillomavirus infection. And third, the endpoints of MI or stroke were self-reported. Clearly, larger population studies will be needed before any firm conclusions about the association of human papillomavirus infection and cardiovascular disease can be made. Nevertheless, since an effective vaccine is now available for human papillomavirus, it raises some intriguing issues about possibly limiting cardiovascular disease in some populations. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.